Hey guys, this is Great on Planet Great. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. In this video, while doing my broker work in Cavite, we stopped by this place called King Bee. Only one person's name comes to mind when I go to this place. It's my office mate before, Lila. Hey Lila, how are you? This is Great and Shadow on Planet Great. And I'm here in Cavite and we're going to eat here at this place that you love so much, Lila. It's called King Bee. Yay! So Lila, you're gonna be very happy. I'm here at King Bee, your favorite restaurant. And we're gonna eat some dim sum. Isn't that exciting? So we eagerly make our way into the restaurant and put in our orders. It's a rather large restaurant, so out here in the middle of nowhere, this is King B. So guys, I'm here now at King B. I used to think the name of this place is Queen B because my office mate who is a female introduced me to this place, so I kept on calling it Queen B. But it's called King Bee. So guys, what's amazing about this place is the staff, actually the supervisor and the manager, they can speak Chinese. So when you come in here, the first thing you must tell them is Wo Fei Chang which means you're extremely hungry and they will understand. They speak both Hokkien and Mandarin. Shishi. We actually ordered the chicken curry. It's unusual to see a chicken curry meal in a Chinese restaurant. For starters, they serve you with service tea from a teapot. So today we ordered the chicken curry rice, curry rice in a Chinese restaurant. Isn't that great? So this is the curry chicken with rice. There's like chili and of course the senior ordered this. When you mix those two it becomes this. <laughs> so it's rather unusual to have curry in a Chinese restaurant, but this curry is pretty good. It's kind of spicy, just the right amount of spice. And the rice is really tasty. It's like fluffy, not exactly Japanese rice, but it's good quality rice. A bite of this delicious chicken curry. Wow, the chicken is so tender. And there's no skin on the chicken. Amazing, they, they removed the chicken skin already. Hen Hao Chi, Fei Chang, Fei Chang Chi. Forgot about this. We also wanted some chicken feet, but they didn't have any, so in lieu, we got Japanese shomai. It usually comes in four pieces, but the senior grabbed one right away. Now it's time to try one of these Japanese dim sum things. So I can tell it's Japanese dim sum because there is a slice of kani inside. Oh, and there's like pork around. There's like pork around it. It's quite good. Uh -huh. I thought it was just only kani. Mm. Meaty, tasty. Wow. We also ordered the Tao Si spare ribs. So I must say the lunch was very enjoyable. Even the spare ribs with Taosi was fabulous. Um, lots of meat, some, some bones, but lots of meat. It was served hot, not cold. And how true. So guys, if you find yourself driving for some reason, going down to the, farther, the farthest reaches of Cavite or on your way to Tagaytay, you might, and you are driving on Centennial Road, you might want to drop by King B. The best Chinese food according to the senior in the area. 
We left that day and the following day we had to go back to Cavite and what better thing to do than go visit King Bee again. It's definitely double happiness at King Bee. Oh my god, we're here for a second day. This is so amazing. We are at King Bee again. And this time we have Madame here with the her push card with her push card she's pushing all this dim sum so we got some dim sum here and we, today we got hakao we got a Japanese thing again here's the steamed shrimp dumpling or hakao whenever I eat hakao I always remember my office mate Miss Laila Udan Laila, I'm here now. I'm going to eat hakao. It's your favorite hakao, Laila. I'm going to dip it in the sauce that I made. I ate all the shrimp and I forgot to eat the, the, the wrapping. Mmm. So we continued to finish our lunch and I realized that this restaurant, King Bee, is not found in Manila. It's only found down south. I wish they'd open some branches down in Metro Manila. Eating at this place reminds me of the time that we had an outing for Intel and of course King Bee was one of the stops we had for dinner. I finally got to taste the food that my office mate was raving about. Eating at this place reminds me of the good times that I've had with my former office mates at Intel. Although a number of us have gone our separate ways, I still keep in mind the fond memories that we've had. And we still keep in touch.